What's up, you guys? It's Jay Newland coming at you from the camshaft garage. Uh, sorry, I didn't comb my hair. Uh, here, you know what? Let me throw myself a hat on. I can't find one, so never mind. But uh, today I'm doing an update video on my 59 El Camino for Rick Howard's Dream Ride Contest. It's coming along pretty nice. My best model so far. No paint damage. No uh, interior damage. No engine damage. Although the carburetors aren't staying on though. But it's because I used different carburetors. These were from a... I think uh 58 no pro well yeah 58 uh Impala um it's like I said it's coming along pretty nice uh I got everything all painted up I work models really quick I don't know why but I work models really quick it's I don't I don't know it's I think it's just a a thing I I have patience Sometimes I use that patience on stuff that needs patience, a lot of patience, but, like, uh, I do them quickly. Right now I already have the interior done, the bed done, uh, the engine's almost done, paint's done, glasses in, and it's only the 6th. This thing isn't done till May 2nd, and it's March 6th. Uh, I work models really quickly. Um, quickest I've ever spent on a model was, I think, eight hours, seven hours, and that was for the uh, 55 gasser, you know, the one that was slammed, the green one. But uh, let, let me just stop talking, blabbering, or blabbering about everything, and I'm going to show you guys what I got. Start off with the interior. Like I said, I was gonna cotton ball it. I still have to do a little bit of touch up there. Uh, interior is all done up. Made a custom shifter. Uh, do I have a light near here where I can show you guys of a clearer image, better? Well, I guess not. I have a mess of stuff on the ground but there you go you can see that pretty good I have that in there there is a console in there that came with the kit as custom oh yeah put the little amplifier right there and it's gonna sit right in the middle of the window Ugh. detailed the dash uh, I think it looks pretty nice. Bed I've already showed you guys has a two battery storages of uh, two batteries each, four batteries. Uh, it's all wood up. I don't think I'm gonna clear coat it. I think it looks nice like that. Well, especially when it's like in the uh, El Camino in the back, like in its place. Oh. Uh, Seems a hair got on it when I was painting it. Crap. Oh well, I'm not gonna give. I'm not gonna throw it in the purple pond or anything. But there it is. Paint's all finished. Has I think it has a nice shine. I didn't put a clear coat on it. Kind of wanted it to get just the metallic blue, the metallic silver, not necessarily shiny. Just a nice. Cause I mean it's kind of got a little bit of sparkle in it, but I have the glass in. Glass wasn't too hard. I didn't bare metal foil it. All I did was paint it. This tester is metallic silver. This great spray uh, airbrush paint. And the inside of the hood. Let's see if I can get this off. This is actually kind of a hood that's meant to stay on, you know, not necessarily take it off, like, you know, you take it off, it should stay off, it's because it has those two notches in it, and they're a little bit wider than the actual, but I painted that blue, I still have to detail those wires and stuff, uh, the inside is silver, I'm going to put the hood back on and 
probably gonna attempt to open it up later. Great. But, um, bed cover silver. Back is painted. The bed cover on it, I don't think it looks too bad. Just like that. Uh, focus. Under that, or because it has hydraulic uh, pumps, I'm gonna have it so it opens up like that instead of like that. Uh, I still have to detail those hydraulic pumps. I'm going to use the custom split bumpers. Uh, there, there's the backing or the actual bumper of it, and right there are the actual split bumpers. It's split front and back. I don't know if I'm going to do uh, front split and then back, just one straight line. Tell me what you guys think. I'm going to hold off on that so I can uh, get some opinions on it. Because honestly, I don't know. The only split bumper car that I have actually had experience with, like, you know, had experience, like, visually seeing it, not through you know, the internet or anything, is my uncle's 71 Vega. It's Pro Street Vega. We have a 350 in it. Uh, Four-barrel carburetor. It's nice. It runs seven seconds, or sorry, uh, late nine seconds down the quarter mile. It's pretty nice, but... And that has the uh, front split bumper and then the back's just the full one. I don't, I don't know, guys. Tell me what you think. I want to know what you guys think. Front split bumper, uh, rear full bumper, or just split all the way around. But, um, is that it? Uh, this. Uh, I'm back. Chassis. Detailed it. All I did was spray it metallic, or the, uh, Deja Blue. And then detail it with Tester's Metallic Silver. I love Tester's paint. Tester's is the way to go. Um, with the grill, excuse me, I'm going to go with, where is that? The tube grill rather than stock grill or the custom grill. The custom grill, I don't think looks right just because it, it's such a long or it's such a wide body with only one headlight I don't like personally I don't like but uh I know on YouTube if you look up a uh, 59 no Camino CT actually did one he did the uh custom let's get let's let you get a better look at it. this one I don't, I don't personally, I personally wouldn't choose it, but I guess CT chose it and it actually came out pretty nice, but, uh, I'm not going to use a stock one, although it is classic. I'm going to use tube grill, I'm going to have the dual headlights with the spotlight mirrors, and, uh, oh yeah, another big thing, side pipes. With the side pipes, it's going to be easier to slam it to the ground. That way, it doesn't have to go all the way in, so I don't have to cut the uh, fenders. I don't. I, I hate cutting fenders, especially when you have to make new ones, because then they don't necessarily turn out uh, like like it would if it was like real. They wouldn't turn out as good as it would real, just because you know I, I don't have styrene plating and I don't have the money for it. But yeah. I don't think I'm going to bare metal foil it. I'm going to go with the stock headlights. Because I had a choice <coughs> with going with this custom one. The headlights are too long in my opinion. So I used the stock ones. CT also did the uh, custom ones. I personally wouldn't have sh chose it, but I'm not CT. So, um, that's pretty much, oh, engine. I have the engine all done up in the uh, Chevy Orange. Back then it was orange. If you guys don't already know, 
they went from Chevy Blue to Chevy Orange to Chevy Red. Uh, so, yes, it is the right color. Um, those carburetors are different, so they sit a little bit higher. Uh, this right here. The intake. I used the metallic blue on the inside and then silver on the outside. Uh, it'll look nice on top of it, although I'm afraid it'll look like Broncos colors. Honestly, I don't have anything against the Broncos, just that I'm a Raiders fan. Uh, I am from Colorado. I live in Colorado. All my family's from Colorado. I just like making people mad, you know. But, uh, hydraulics. These are all wired up on the top. Do you see that? What I used, if you guys don't already know, is one thing I cannot find right now. <laughs> Can't find it, but yep, yeah, we found it. Hooray! Ugh. This is this silver bedding wire. It is 45 millimeters, it's six feet. It, it's good. It's easy to work with. I like it because you could use it for spark plugs. You've seen it in my previous work. It turns out really nice, especially in that 58. I really liked it. Um, especially, what, what else I like is, if you bend it, it stays in that shape. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, so yeah, I use those. I painted it gold. I paint the pumps gold and the mounting silver. I painted the gauges black with the green Let's see. Yeah, with the green uh, teller or whatever. I don't know. Speedometer pick or <laughs> that's what I'm gonna call it. Speedometer pick. Uh, so that's what I got going on so far. I got the shocks all done up in yellow, silver. So like I said, that's what I got going so far. Um. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, remember, tell me what you guys think about the bumpers. Full split bumpers, like front and back split bumpers, or split bumpers in the front and then a regular bumper in the back. Alright, like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you later.